quick hilarious story here. Um, I told y'all that they, man, they they plan that masterly as far as how they approach the whole January sixth, uh, capital, whatever you call it, riot, whatever you want to call it, where people were just let through the door and do bros or gr- unarmed grandmas were were walking in single file line. Pretty much a lot of the lies that we heard about it were just that. Um, the whole oh, uh, this officer got. Got beat to death with a with a with a fire didn't happen. Didn't happen. But here we are. And these are evil people that it's funny how they worded it in a way that okay, you are attacking yourself. Because in the event that that was allowed to be a thing. And this is why we you know we call it a cathedral and all of this, and it's funny how they word it like, okay, well, it, they're attacking you, like all oh, this art democracy. Ain't no such thing as art democracy. What they do to y'all ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't even like y'all like that. You and you don't like me. So this whole, well, they're attacking us. I'm like, no. But it's hilarious. Congress folk that send your children off the war. All kinds of stuff. We saw them hiding under desk to pictures. Hiding under their desk and shit. Uh, or, or not under their desk or just, just ducking down for cover. And these are the people that have no issue sending everybody your loved ones to die. Recently, they announced that they passed a one point nine billion dollar to bolster capital security police uh, after the January 6th attack. So what's going to happen out of this is two billion bucks are going to be spent on. And some of them hilariously are that that do work in the capital or in the capital complex at minimum will be the same ones that that will tell you in your areas, this is funny, they'll say uh, defund the police. This this is not a defund the police effort. This is a funding of the police. Which one is it? Just be consistent. That's all I ask. Which one is it? And this is why I, I tell you guys to be careful, and you got to look below the surface when it comes to the rhetoric or rather catchphrases and slogans that a lot of these politicians use. People that are in a political sphere that are either directly in, in, in involved in politics or they work for the government or they're utilizing it to get whatever it is they want. Political favors passed in the form of bills, stuff like that. And almost I don't want to say almost always say a lot of times you will see. People going the complete opposite direction of what it is. So. Now me, I'm 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 of the position that yeah, get rid of if you, if you defund these efforts or whatever police. I don't just get rid of all the uh, gun laws and all of the 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 rights or let people issue you know act on rather their right to self defense. But that's not their position that they have. Remember what happens is hey, it's defund it's defund police, and on, on, on top of that, you want to defend your business from a looter? Nope, you go to jail. You not a criminal and no damn police that y'all say, Hey, defund. They, they have no issues. So why I say it goes both ways to so y'all. They'd be sacrificing the police. They ain't got no problem bringing someone in that didn't defend themselves. They ain't got no issue doing that. We've seen it. Imagine that state monopolizes law. And then they, they can't even do that correctly. And then when you try to take it into your own hands to even just protect yourself and your business, they take you to jail. But back on the point, what's going on here is that, as mentioned, the House on Thursday narrowly passed, come from NBC News, passed a one point nine billion emergency spending. So it's additional money came out of nowhere to boost the security for the U.S. Capitol complex and other government agencies that were responded to the January 6th attack. So again, direct antithetical position in effort to improve the response feature into the bill will allocate 18 million to provide uh, body cameras to the uh, U S Capitol police officers interacting with the general public by riot control equipment and strengthen uh, 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 intelligence and training. It almost sounds like they're militarizing the police. Funny how that works, huh? 
I would love to, and at some point, this is 20, 213 to 12. I'm, I'm going to, and I'll probably do it for a future video. I'm willing to bet there are Democrats that have generally supported defund the police campaigns that voted for this, that, that whose names are on record for voting for this. Uh, and I, and I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to have to go through it because I'm willing to bet of those 213 that there are certain, uh, 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 there are people that, that voted for it. Whether, and it really doesn't matter what side of they are of the political aisle, um, really, as far as, um, yeah, it's less you defending yourself more, more them being defended from you. <laughs> oh, man. So you heard it here. Almost two billion dollars worth of monies, extra monies going. So they are protected. You, yo, yo. You just watched a clip from my podcast for Cannon's sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at youtube.com slash youngripper59 and follow us over at odyssey.com slash at youngripper59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit forcanonsake.com.